hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are in the kitchen and we are gonna be cooking a recipe I have never cooked before but I love and that is butter chicken so I have never made any type of Indian food and I've been craving butter chicken and I was like gonna just order it but you know what let's try and make it so this dish is not something I typically make you guys know I make pasta literally all the time so I'm good at cooking pasta but I want to learn more about cooking and start filming more cooking videos on my channel so why not start off with an Indian dish and see how well I can do. So I have none of the Indian spices, so I'm gonna have to go to the store and look for all of them. And all morning I've been watching videos on how to make butter chicken. There's a lot of different recipes and ways to do it, but I picked out one that I think looks good to me, easy enough to follow, and let's see how we can do this. First, let's head to the store and get the chicken and all the spices. Okay, just left the first Indian store and wow, do they have a lot of spices, but I got garlic naan, yay! So I got all these spices, like a lot of them, and this was only like $3 for all of that. So I think it was a good idea to go to an Indian store rather than like Target or something to get all the spices. All these bay leaves for a dollar. And then I got some ghee butter and garlic ginger paste. There are a few more things I need, so we're gonna go stop at one more store. Okay, we are back from the stores. I spent about $60 on these ingredients, but now I have all the spices and a lot of them, so I'll be good to make this whenever I want now. So, let me show you guys what I got. So first, I got some garlic naan. Look at this. So we'll just throw this in the oven. And then I also just got some minute rice, some chicken, onions, and lemon. We got yogurt with the fat in it, don't get non-fat. We got ghee butter, ginger, and garlic paste. Crushed tomatoes, diced green chilies. We got a big bag of coriander powder. Garum masala, cumin seeds. A big bag of red chili powder cashmere. Bay leaves, giant ones. Ground cardamom, whole cloves, cumin, and turmeric. Let's do this. All right, let's start with our chicken marinade. Let's begin. So we have a big bowl and we are going to do one teaspoon of ground turmeric. I did not have this stuff, so I had to buy it. Look at this cute little seasoning. So this was only like $1.50. Okay, one teaspoon. That is very fragrant. Color is so bright. That's what I really love about butter chicken and lots of Indian food. It's also colorful and vibrant. And next we are doing one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. So there's one and then a little bit more. If only I knew how to open these things. And then one and a half teaspoons of ground cardamom. You guys, not gonna lie, with that haul, I was Google translating lots of those words to make sure I pronounced everything right. Ooh, I like the smell of this one. Mmm, kind of smells like, like garlicky pepper. One teaspoon of some salt from my cute little salt jar. I love these containers. I want to put all my spices in little glass jars and then just buy all my spices in like bags in bulk. I don't know. I feel like it looks cuter in the glass jar and then it's also like less waste. So I don't know. I, let, I want to do that and I try to do that, but... It didn't work. The labels weren't sticking on the glass jars, so I returned it, and I'll have to try and find some that are successful, and when I do, I will film a DIY on my vlog channel. Then we're doing half a cup of lemon juice, which I do not have a lemon squeezer. Do I? Wait. Maybe I don't. I feel like I do, but I'm not seeing it, so this is one-fourth of a cup, because my half cup is in Hershey's food container, so we're going to just do two of these. One fourth a cup, and uh, let's do one more. Thank God I got a couple lemons, cause wow, that was that was a lot of squeezing. Okay, some more. I definitely need to invest in a lemon squeezer. <laughs> I squeezed these babies as much as I could though. Okay, now we're doing a teaspoon of this. I got a big bag of this stuff, so I'll be set on this for a while. Wonder what the difference is with this compared to just regular red chili powder. Let me know down below if you know. So we got one teaspoon of that, and then next, some yogurt. So this is half a cup, so one, mm, yogurt. And that's the marinade. So now we just need to cut up our chicken and put it in. Okay, let's slice up our chicken. In lots of the videos I was seeing, they were dicing it, or not dicing it, slicing it. 
cutting it, same thing. I guess it's easier to eat and the sauce sticks better if it's like in little slices rather than cubes, but you could do it however you like, obviously. But we're gonna do that. And whenever I touch chicken, I like to wear gloves because it kind of freaks me out. I like to wear these, especially because I have fingernails, like pretty long ones, so it's like gross when it all gets stuck under there, and then when you wash your hands, I feel like it's not getting like clean, so I like those. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, but I always thought it was gonna be a little bit too hard. I was like, no, we got this. You gotta do things that are more difficult and what you're not comfortable with. Like, I'm used to just making pasta all the time. But this is how you learn. And I really want to learn how to cook really good. So, this is what we're doing. We got our chicken. This is actually some really nice chicken. Very clean. If you're from India, comment down below. I really wanted to make tiki masala. Because that's like my fave fave but I still really like buttered chicken. But maybe we'll try and make that next time. I feel like buttered chicken might be a little bit easier to make, but now I have lots of the spices, so we could definitely try that next time. You guys know how my mom makes homemade bread all the time? I wonder if she could make homemade non bread. Is that easy? Maybe I could ask her to make that. Okay guys, here is what the marinade looks like. And I'm going to add the chicken in here. Ooh, and get it all sauced up. Oh, this is gonna be flavorful. There we go. Look how nice. I'm going to cover it and put it in the fridge and let this marinate for a while. You should let it marinate overnight, but I don't want to wait all night. Maybe the second time when I like make this for my family or something, I can do this overnight because this was so simple. Like this part was really easy. So I'm going to throw this in the fridge. Okay, it's been a few hours. The chicken has been soaking up all of the flavor and I'm hungry. So we are going to Start cooking this now. Okay, now we're gonna chop up one yellow onion so we can start getting ready to prep the gravy. It's so crazy how like your eyes get used to cutting onions. Like when I first started cutting onions, my eyes, I'd have to like walk away because they would burn so bad and now like it doesn't affect me. Just kidding, my eyes burned so bad cutting this onion up, but I chopped it up super fine. I'm gonna cook the chicken first in this big pan with some olive oil. Now that the oil is all hot, I'm going to add this in. I need to get some tongs. Okay, the chicken is cooked all the way through. I'm now just going to strain it and set this aside. Okay, here is the chicken all done. Now we're going to start on the gravy. So the first two things we need are olive oil and some butter, which I got the ghee butter, which is clarified butter. It says if you use this butter, it makes the flavor more richer, and then if you use actual, like a stick of butter, um, it makes it more creamy. So I just got this. Okay, so it's on medium heat. We are gonna add a big spoonful of this butter. That was kind of a lot. And also some olive oil. Then we're adding in a little bit of cumin. Next, a bay leaf. I've never cooked with those before. Literally looks like I just picked it from a tree outside. Four cloves, and then some green chilies. This is optional. And half a teaspoon of turmeric. Okay, we're now gonna add in the chopped onion and let this cook for like five minutes. Okay, now we're gonna add in a spoon of this ginger garlic paste and let this cook for another minute. How's it looking guys? Am I doing it right? And now we're doing one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of this Kashmiri red pepper, one and a half teaspoons of coriander powder, teaspoon of garam masala, and then we are gonna stir this until it's all combined. Okay, it's time for the tomatoes. Two and a half cups of crushed tomatoes. So we got one, Two, wow, almost this whole can. Two and a half cups. Okay, and then some salt. And we are going to let this simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, now that the sauce is a deep red, we are going to put it in a smoothie maker <laughs> and blend it. I have never blended a sauce before. I don't know if that's all gonna fit in there either. Let's see. Okay, how do I do this without like also making a mess? Yeah, I did indeed make a mess. I tried to use a spoon and scoop it up because that was the clean board with the onions, so. It looks like tomato soup. I added some water to it, and now we are going to blend this up. Okay, we are almost done. Oops. Okay, we are almost done. I have the rice in the microwave. I really wanna get a rice cooker. 
that is gonna be my next purchase. And uh, let's put one of these in the oven. Oh my gorgeous. Look how delicious. It smells so garlicky. Look at it. So now it's all smooth. I'm gonna put it back in the pan. Ooh, yeah, so smooth. And then we're gonna add some butter, because it's butter chicken, and some sugar to help balance out with the acidity. Now we're gonna put this chicken in, mix it all together. Okay, our garlic naan is warmed up. I've been letting this simmer in here for like 10 minutes just to get the flavors all together. And then I also have our rice. We're just gonna add a little bit of cream to this, and then we're done. It's done, look at it. You guys, look how pretty this looks. I am really impressed with myself. Let's try it, we gotta try it. Okay, this is the moment of truth. I'm going to rip up a piece of naan and grab myself a little piece of chicken. And some rice, of course. Perfect bite. You guys, that is good. That's really good. Oh, I did it. I did it. It tastes really good. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. That was actually not that hard. I did kind of destroy the kitchen, but <laughs> but I was trying to clean it while like it was simmering, this and that, so everything's in the dishwasher now. But I did it. I'm excited. I have a ton left over too. Well, you guys, this was a very fun video. It was very fun. I feel like I did a pretty good job. Let me know down in the comments if I missed a step or if I I don't know, messed up, but I think it tastes good. It has lots of flavor and it looks like how it should look. Comment down below what you'd like to see me make next and we will make it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> oh, one more, one more, one more, one more. Yes, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit, holy <laughs> shit. All right, now shoot him in the and leave. That was bad. <laughs> Get get that yeah yeah get no, that funny. Kit. But be careful that might be there. his person guy might be there. Wait, where are you going? No, go back, go back, I where are you going? I threw a grenade! Wait. No, that wasn't oh. a grenade! That's, that's oh. it's stay right there! Oh god! Oh you're dead! Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that oh was Oh my god!